The current Australian government is coming under fire for a dramatic decline in the number of school students studying Asian languages. The Rudd government, though, blames the previous government for cutting Asian language programs, leading to a 22% decline before it came to office. Peter Donald reports from Canberra. Kevin Rudd calls this the Asia-Pacific century. The government that I lead is passionately committed to wider engagement with the region. We do not see ourselves as external to the region, we see ourselves as part of the region. Two years ago, before he was elected, Kevin Rudd promised to boost the teaching of Asian languages in Australian schools. We announced we'll introduce comprehensive Asian language education. Australia's opposition leader accuses him of failing to deliver. Tony Abbott says Australians have become linguistically lazy, with fewer than 15% of final year students studying a foreign language and only 5% studying an Asian language. Our ultimate objective should be to ensure that every student has at least some familiarity with other languages and that a significant percentage have studied a foreign language through to school leaving. His new commitment went down well with the audience of Asian specialists and ambassadors from across the region. This is to some extent uh, helps of creating the, the mutual understanding between people. So I think this is very important. And if you do not have uh, enough uh, experts who can speak Korean and also, you know, who, can, uh, who knows about Korean histories and cultures and, you know, economies, it's, it will be very difficult for us to cooperate, uh, you know, together. Kevin Rudd points to his government's Asian language program worth $62 million over four years. Another pet project for Australia's former diplomat prime minister is his proposal for a new regional grouping, the Asia-Pacific Community. Tony Abbott is scathing. The proposal has seriously irritated many of our regional partners. But the special envoy for the project says it is making progress and is on the agenda for the next meeting of ASEAN foreign ministers. So I think it is very significant that it's now on the agenda. Brick by brick, the evolution of an institution across our wider region capable of a much broader agenda. It's a vision he's still trying to sell. Peter Donald, ABC News, Canberra.